My name is D Danny Cleland. I work at Kessler's. I'm a dishwasher there. I've been there for two years, I would believe. I like uh, washing the dishes. Hi, everybody. I'm Alan, and I'm uh, employed here at Kessler's. I'm the cart butcher. I've been here for, I think, going on four, probably, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> There's days it's been, gets really busy, like if we have a really blowout sale. <laughs> There's hardly no carts in the cart room, you know, it's usually empty, and I gotta make sure both sides are full. I'm Matt Bosch and I'm Sacker. My name is Nate, I work at Lagos. Um, nine years now. I do the, do the dishes here. Do, I do pots and pans. And then I do then I do the plate, then I, then we do then I do the baskets. So I clean them and then I have to dry them out with the I have to take a towel and dry them out. I'm Daniel Gusmiller. I take down the chairs and I wipe down the tables. I do the ketchup, mustards, salt, pepper, silverware, menus wash dishes every now and then, and I bother everybody around here. <laughs> oh! That's why I put him right under that light thing. I put it right on. <laughs> sure. I'm leaving. No, you're not. Orlu has been a blessing. She takes care of our lobby, so we don't have to take the time out and um, have the customers not waiting for their orders. My name is Tim Heifel. Yeah, I face the shelves, make them straighten them out with me. My name is Samantha Kranzler and I work at Revive Day Spa. And I'm a cleaner. I clean and I do help where I'm needed. Barry Conway, I work here at Herbergers for 15 years and I come off the forest and pick up the hangers and eat things. And desperate. Well, it's uh, friendly people, nice people to work with stuff like that. I like meeting different people. Uh, meeting a lot of people. Meeting a lot of people, trying to be polite to some of the workers and cu the customers too, you know. Nate is really, really nice to work with. Lauren's really, really nice to work with. Mike, Scooters, everybody pretty much. I just like working here. Makes me feel good. Um, I like the people I work, I work with. They're nice people I work with. They're nice people. They're nice, nice customers. I see the customers. Sometimes I have to go up and say hi to them. Well, I like the bosses around here. Being boss. <laughs> <laughs> I made a whole new family. I like um. I like to go on breaks. <laughs> Right. What about your employee discount? Oh, I get a discount, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Have you bought anything with your employee discount? A uh, new baffle, for one thing. Keep all his money in. I, I just stick it in the bank. You saving up for anything? 
Mm, for a, for a trip and stuff. Where are you going? Fargo. Saving it for my trip to Minneapolis. But I gotta save up. I gotta save up for it and everything. So I gotta save up for money. You know. Next week we're gonna be going to Office Max. I'm gonna see if I can get any reasonable price. Uh, if I can just get my computer tower upgraded. I got a new bike this year. Uh, bike? I just bought a bike yesterday. And I rode that to work this morning. I got a new bike and stuff. And just put new tires on it now again. Tubes and stuff. Yeah. Running shoes. I got a new TV this oh. year. Maybe maybe go on a trip sometime to the Black Hills or something. Uh, go on a trip to California. See my sister Jen. A new iPod. I got a new chair. Every time you push your you push your feet up, you sleep on it. <laughs> and it, it's a it's a nice chair. Get off your lazy rear ends and get out there and find a job. It's worth it. You make money that way. <laughs> well, you probably should go out and get a job. You might need some money sometimes to, to buy stuff on the or something like that. Fine. A job and work and then in the afternoon you can go do whatever you want to do. Well, you need to go out and earn a living. You have to work for, for paying bills and stuff. I said if you don't work, you won't get your bills paid. Like important bills, like medical bills. And if you don't have insurance, you're up a creek. <laughs> The store does provide, does provide insurance, but you have to be full time. They're they're missing out on a whole lots of fun out there. Hi, my name is Jennifer Martin Ross. I'm the general manager of the Arby's restaurant in Aberdeen, South Dakota, and I've been here for 23 years. It has been great, especially over the lunch hour. She um, collects the trays, she fills the ta or cleans the tables, she fills the sauces, the lids, the condiments. She's very self-sufficient. In April, Orlu hit 16 years, so she's been with us for quite a while. She was with us at the old store, and then she came over here with us. It's just been amazing. I think it's like brought our team together even more, like made it more family. Um, it's just rewarding. It's rewarding to be able to offer a job to somebody that you know other people may not want to hire. She's very good at what she does, so I definitely think so, yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stuart Lonning. I'm the store manager at Her Burgers here in Aberdeen. I've been here for about 17 years. It's worked very well for us. Larry's been with us probably for 15 or 16 years now, and uh, the consistency he provides in getting the job done every day has, has been you know, pretty important to us to, to keep our standards high where we want them and, and uh, get the job done. Hi, I'm Ray Nolte with Ken Super Fair Foods here in Aberdeen. So far it's just been fine, everything has worked out. Uh, Tim has been doing a wonderful job for us, so everything has been great. Sandy Kraft, I'm the store director at Kessler's. Absolutely, we have nine employees here and every one of them just is unique and they just, they care and they just do a great job for us. My name is Tracy Wickenheiser. I'm the senior team lead in the deli at Kessler's. Um, it's worked very well. When I first started at Kessler's, I worked in the front end with several of the other employees besides Danny, and they've always, always proven to be dedicated, hardworking, independent, very easy to work with. I know when I moved to the deli, I, I met Danny, and I've been very impressed with Danny's work ethic. He's a hard worker, he follows direction, he makes us all smile and laugh all day long. <laughs> uh, Lauren Dayton, manager to Loggers Inn. Oh, it's worked incredibly well for us. I mean, these guys help out so many things, it's just uncountable. I mean, you ask them to do something, and they're almost always willing to jump right in and help out. Because like this fall I fractured my ankle and these two helped me out so much because I couldn't use my hands so for two months they were extra sets of hands. Like with Nate with being tall, reaching stuff, carrying stuff around for me. No, actually.
actually, um, Orlu did all the job requirements. She's very self-sufficient. Really didn't. Um, you know, it's it's uh, this particular shift runs a couple hours a day, and and it's well suited to Larry and and other folks um, that have that availability. So there's they can do everything that anybody else does. We um, are pretty lucky in that we've got a lot of different jobs here at the store that we can find one to, to fit the needs of, of the clientele that are coming in to help us out. Not at all. Not at all. They are doing the same job that every one of our employees is able to do. No, they have to follow the job rules and description just like a regular employee would. They, we don't make any special exceptions. Um, if they don't do it right, we hold them accountable, but most of the time that very rarely do I have to go in and tell them twice how to do something. Once they learn it, it's ingrained and they do it correctly every time. Oh, I definitely would. Orlu has been just a, a blessing to us. It's, it's great because it's, it's good for Orlu, it gives her another outlet and it's good for us. And like I said, she's just, she's a gem. She comes in with something unique to say every single day. <laughs> So far, everything has been fine, and we would we would recommend that you would do that. Totally. Yeah. My dad owns a fitness center across the street, and I'm like, Dad, you should totally. They're great workers. It's amazing. Almost definitely. There's always a job for somebody. Highly, highly recommend, yes. Yes, I would. Um, you know, the key is like any new hire that's associate training or employee training, and as long as um, they get the direction and, and understand the, the responsibilities of the job. This is typically not a problem. Um, I know Ron Volsky's been here 16 years now, a long time. And I think Danny's been here four years, long time. So once you hire, you're not only getting a commitment from them, the employer's committed as well. I, I know that I've never had to reprimand or let someone go that's been um, from Aspire or any of the other organizations. And I, and I think it's important that, uh, number one, that we do give opportunities to everyone, regardless of what their skill level and their talent is, there's a place where they can make a contribution. And Larry's a really good example of that. Awesome. There you go. There's your compliment for the day. Get Ooh. to work. <laughs> Quit sitting around. I ain't sitting around like this. <laughs> we do okay, Tim? Yeah, I yeah. guess so. I guess, yeah. I guess so. All right. <laughs> Got All right. you in there, didn't we? Yeah, we, All right. we got me in there. Yeah, we did. That was fun.